Hey, this is Sean OTD, and welcome back to the next episode of Is It Worth It? Today, Beard Vapor Company. All right, well, let's just dive right into this little gift bag here. Um, first thing, that's uh, kind of cool. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's got the beard guy on the front. Uh, profile list on the back. Beard Vapor Company official beard. I think I can skip that one. Ah, the glasses. I guess you can't do a Beard Vapor Company review without the official beard glasses. So, there we go. And juice, juice, and more juice. All right, I think that's it. Number five. This is New York style cheesecake with strawberries on top. It's got the VGPG ratios on here. That's pretty awesome. Uh, it says 60-40 blend. Fresh cotton. Let's check this out. Well, let me take these off so you can actually see my expression. Um, I can really taste the strawberries on top. It was a smooth, sweet strawberry. I can taste a bit of the cheesecake going in and the strawberries on the exhale. It's delicious. It's good. I like it. It's not a plastic label either. So presentation, very good. I mean, I know it's just a guy with a beard and shades, but he was at American Vape Convention and that's what the dude looked like, but he was just wearing a hat. Um, he was chilling in a chair, taking a nap. He was kind of cool. What the heck is this? Oh uh, boy, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, 71, uh, it's uh, sweet and sour, sour sugar, Peach, 70-30 VG PG ratio. I'm still very impressed with the uh, the label. The label is not made out of your normal paper. That's pretty cool. So most of the time, you notice how your label kind of rubs off your juice, and you're not exactly sure what you're what you're vaping on anymore. <laughs> you just kind of have to remember this. It's kind of almost like um, first aid tape that's been printed on. It's got a very smooth peach flavor to it. Um, A nice slow exhale, I can taste a little bit of the tartness that they're talking about. Uh, I wonder if I did a, just a normal exhale, I could taste that sugary peach. So there is that sugar peach flavor in there with, with hints of tartness for that, for that sour. Yeah, I have to say that's really good. That's, that's one of the better peach flavors that I've had. Um, they taste really peachy. It's peachy. <laughs> so let's see here. We have number 64. This is a unique blue raspberry hibiscus twist. Although I really like their packaging, it is a lot to do <laughs> One after another, after another, after another. I'm interested about the hibiscus thing. I don't know how I feel about the adding of hibiscus. 
But uh, everything else has tasted good, so uh, I uh, I will reserve my thoughts until after I taste it. Oh, wow. I'm glad I reserved the right to speak until after. Oh my gosh, that was really good. That, that was unexpectedly good. I did not expect to get that kind of a flavor. That hibiscus twist just changed everything. That is really good. Mmm. That could be an all-day vape. That that is really good. It's smooth. It's got just enough, you know, complexity that to, to keep you interested. Um, it's got an interesting twist in there that just kind of brings out some some other subtleties. Um, and it's interesting enough that it tastes good. And I think I could vape it all day. And it's so complex that I wouldn't just get bored of and vapor's tongue vaping the same boring juice all day long. That is amazingly good. I'm, I'm very impressed with that one. So far, uh, I have to say number 64 is my favorite one out of the three that I've tried so far. Number 51, custard with a dash of custard. Hmm, I don't think I would have ever expected that. It tastes like custard. Yeah, it's custard with a dash of custard. That's, uh, it's custard. <laughs> I almost think that I would mix this with the cheesecake and have my strawberry cheesecake with custard. I think that would be pretty good, actually. Not that it's bad at all. It's just, uh, it's just a straight custard. But it's a very high quality custard. It's, it's a good, delicious custard. It's just, just custard. For those of you that do vape beard already, you know what this is. You know what number 32 is. It's a delicious cinnamon funnel cake. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm at a fair. Or a carnival or something. That tastes like Maybe not so much funnel cake specifically, but like a Cinnabon or something. I mean, it's, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Something just moved into the first place spot. That, that, that is my favorite flavor so far. Number 88. A familiar chocolate mint cookie. Let's see if this is going to put Girl Scouts out of business. Mm. It's kind of like um, a thin mint meets an Andy's chocolate mint. Um, it's very reminiscent of a Girl Scout cookie. Um, it's good. It's really good. Um, it's so sweet and so chocolatey. Um, and it's really delicious. Um, I don't think I can vape it all day because it is really sweet and I can't vape too sweet of things all day. 
But if I'm after dinner and I want a dessert, but I don't want to eat a dessert, or if I'm too full to eat a dessert, I could easily vape this and satiate my cravings for something sweet. This is delicious. My least favorite uh, was just the straight custard. It was just nothing but custard. I did like it. I did enjoy it. I would vape it. Um, didn't say it didn't like it. Didn't say it was bad. It just my least favorite of the line. Um, my favorite still the funnel cake. Um, with a really close second is that, that raspberry hibiscus twist. That's really, really good. Um, after that, I don't know. Um, the, uh, the peach was good, the mint was good, and the strawberry uh, cheesecake was good. I really would kind of want to try out the uh, strawberry cheesecake with that, uh, that custard. I think that's going to be really superb. And if that tastes like what I can imagine it to taste in my head, then that might rise to the ranks pretty quickly. I have to say there's not a fav flavor in this line that I would be like, snurl my nose at. Not, not a one. The whole line is good. Please try them out. I think you'll be very, very pleased with the, with the way they, the flavors are. Uh, I've been pretty fortunate. All the juice I've got to try so far, um, I've really enjoyed. So um, I've, I've been enjoying this uh, process of uh, reviewing really delicious juice. So um, if you haven't seen uh, my last week's video, just uh, click right here and uh, you can check that out. Uh, and stay tuned for my uh, next video after this one, and you'll get to see some more delicious juices that I picked up at the American Vape Convention. So, is it worth it? Yes or no? A resounding yes. Just go to beardvapeco.com. As always, please subscribe and vape on.